You may know that melatonin is an important sleep hormone, but I've got some melatonin facts they will never tell you. Well, you probably know that melatonin is the hormone of darkness secreted by the pineal gland when you're sleeping so that you have that good restful night's sleep. But did you know that the other parts of the body also secrete melatonin? And this is called subcellular melatonin. It's a very, very important antioxidant. And when it's secreted in other parts of the body, it works very closely to the major organ systems of the body, not at nighttime, during the day. Now we have a reservoir of that subcellular melatonin for that antioxidant status to protect us from free radicals throughout the day. Now in this study, it was interesting to note that the main point of the review hypothesized that the subcellular melatonin is produced in response to what? near infrared photons. So we're talking about natural sunlight and this is why I often talk about the importance of getting natural sunlight exposure every single day because it is related to our antioxidant status, keeping our cells healthy as we age, as it's related to that subcellular melatonin. Now I'm not talking here about taking melatonin because I know a lot of people are thinking, okay, to increase my melatonin levels, I'm just gonna take a melatonin supplement. That is not what I'm talking about. And this is something that you know, recently we had a family vacation and one of our friends that came along on the trip said, oh my gosh, I forgot my melatonin. I absolutely need my melatonin to help with my sleep every day. And of course I had something to say about that. And I started to really educate him about some of the negative side effects of taking melatonin supplements. It's usually not natural and can cause other side effects like headaches, dizziness, nausea, even very vivid dreams, even nightmares when you're taking melatonin as a supplement, which is a of course not what I recommend. It can also cause short-term feelings of depression, irritability, mood swings, stomach cramping, diarrhea, constipation, not to mention damage to the back of the eye, which is something that I've talked about in other videos as well. So make sure that you learn that information for yourself. It can decrease your appetite. It can cause you to have to get up at nighttime to urinate and have reduced alertness throughout the day. So we're not talking about taking a melatonin supplement. We're talking about maximizing your own melatonin secretion, doing that naturally. One of the best things you can do is get natural sunlight exposure, especially at different times of the day. So those different wavelengths of natural sunlight exposure in the morning, midday, and at sunset are really helpful for your overall healing and again that subcellular melatonin. Now for more information how to increase your melatonin please check out my video how to increase melatonin for better sleep. I'll see you there.